Welcome back. Let's now study the basic makeup of a single stage end suction type centrifugal pump. The heart of the pump is the impeller which is fixed to the end of the impeller shaft. The impeller shaft is supported in this unit by ball bearings although roller and plane bearings can also be used. The bearings and shaft are housed in a bearing bracket. Behind the impeller is a cover plate called the gland cover, which is there to provide a watertight seal. The impeller is surrounded or encased by the casing. On this particular pump, it is known as a volute casing because of its particular design. The gland cover contains the sealing components which are necessary to prevent air from entering the system via the impeller shaft. In the pump type being discussed, the seal comprises soft packing rings and a lantern ring, all of which are contained in the stuffing box. The packings are held in compression with a gland follower. Let's overview the operating principles of a pump such as we have just discussed. The impeller rotates within the casing, which is filled with water or liquid. The impeller's veins throw the water outward under centrifugal force. The amount of energy imparted depends on the speed and physical size or design of the impeller. The energized water is now forced into the cavity surrounding the impeller and thereafter discharged through the discharge or delivery outlet. By positioning an incoming fluid pipe in line with the suction area, the impeller is thus able to draw in liquid even if that liquid is below pump level due to the vortex action or pressure drop in front of the impeller. On the subject of impellers, there are basically three general types, namely open, semi-open and enclosed. The application of each impeller type is discussed in more advanced programs. We have thus far described the basic operating principles of a typical centrifugal pump. After the break, we shall take an in-depth look at certain important features that you must be aware of, especially from a maintenance or operator's point of view.